Eddie Davis on the Light Rock Morning Show. I want to introduce you to the new Light Rock Teacher of the Month, Alyssa Silipino from Hamilton Middle School. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Congratulations on being our Light Rock Teacher of the Month. Thank you. It's a time when we want to celebrate you for being an excellent teacher, but under unusual circumstances as we get ready to close down the schools. Is this your final day at Hamilton Middle School for some time? Yes, uh, we actually go in today for a half a day um, and are preparing that tomorrow we will be uh, shutting down for the next two weeks and then um, reevaluating after that. Yeah, yeah. Th- my, my kids go for their last day and they're off till April 20th, so they've already made that That's call. Sort of so. Yeah, very interesting thing that's happening here. Here on the Light Rock Morning Show with Alyssa Celepino from Hamilton Middle School, the Light Rock Teacher of the Month, her nominating student, William Castilla, who wrote on his nomination. Ms. Celepino is a great teacher. She's fun and helps us learn all the things we have to learn. We watch CNN to learn what's going on in the news if time allows. And if we get all our work done, we have a free period at the end of the day to relax. I have learned many things from Ms. Celepino. Please consider her as the Light Rock Teacher of the Month. And that's why we chose you. How long have you been at Hamilton Middle School? Um, I have been at the middle school for five years now and with the district for six. You're a special ed teacher, and at Hamilton, does that mean that you teach multiple subjects or one specific subject? Uh, Yes. So I actually teach uh, a self-contained class in the middle school setting, um, which means that I teach all subjects to the students. I'll teach both social studies, math, uh, science, and social studies. They're with you all day? With the same students. Yes, they're with me all day. And these are sixth graders? Sixth and seventh graders. Uh, This is actually the first year in that type of a setting in the elementary school. I've been in all of the special ed different types of settings in our middle school particularly. Alyssa Silipino is the March Light Rock Teacher of the Month and we have her on the phone here today. So the students obviously understand as they get into school today what's happening or they have some sense of it. What do you plan to say to them and how will your children continue to do in-home learning during this period? Well, um, it's definitely a very interesting and rare thing that's happening right now. I'm just going to continue to try and motivate them, do the best they can with, um, you know, learning with the materials that I'm giving them, um, as well as, uh, you know, giving them also other resources that they can use uh, to continue their education and really just focus on trying to see the world around them and know what's so important that they're going to need when they step into the real world. Um, So it's going to be an interesting kind of time for them, but also I'm going to try to really encourage them that to use this time wisely and really try to build something off of it. Will you be in contact with them? Is there a procedure set up for that? I, I know every school is different. Yeah, it's very different. So at Hamilton, we have a 40% poverty level. So we are considered a Title I school, which means that um, we don't have a ton of kids that have internet access. So we have had to put in the measures both um, our lessons to be both internet-based as well as um, paper-based. So all of my kids have gone home with um, lessons that I've planned out on paper as well as that they can get on the internet if they have the internet. So that's kind of the weird part is because we can't rely heavily on one or the other. Um, But I will be still in contact with the kids. We use Google Classroom, um, Remind, different types of uh, means of communication, um, as well as I've told my my parents multiple times throughout this whole procedure that, you know, I will be able to contact them through email. If they have any issues, just don't hesitate. I'm still here for their kids for whatever they need. That has to be very reassuring. I have twin daughters who are in the seventh grade now, and honestly, I'm concerned. Are they really going to learn anything over the next month? Will they really? I know. It, it... It's hard. It's definitely hard, especially for the parents. You guys don't even know what some of the sixth grade curriculum is and things like that. Our seventh grade curriculum is so different from when I went to school, from what, when you went to school. It's going to be hard, but you know yeah. what? They're such great learners at this age, and they're so tech savvy that it's amazing. So hopefully they'll use the resources that we'll give them, and we'll get through this. 
You sound like an excellent teacher. We're glad to have you as our teacher of the month, even under uh, unusual circumstances such as these. You've won prizes from Island Gym. When uh, things get back to normal, we want to bring a pizza party from Capri Pizza in Northfield and some fruit from B.F. Mazio in Northfield. And now William Castillo is in the running for a $2,000 scholarship. And congratulations and make the best of your, your time off and good luck. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. And the kids are too when I told them.